Okay, so we're going to try and get the well working today. So we've tried numerous little tiny pumps just to get water, and of course that didn't work at all. So I ordered this a while ago. This is called a well packer. And so this is for a 6 inch down to a 2 inch. So we know we have a 6 inch liner. This slips down the old liner, and then these fins, I got the soft one because um, that's a degrading pipe. You can just reach in and crinkle the stuff off. But anyways, uh, this will seal off the old pipe above and then give us the water that's down the bottom is where we'll be sucking from. Um, I've heard these are hard to get in, so hopefully it will just slide in with the softer fins and be okay. We'll see. Um, I'm also going to do is put a coupling on the bottom and extend this down about 18 inches or 2 feet. And my thought behind that is that we drop that pipe down in there. And if I can get this in there and then maybe just wiggle it a little bit, we may be able to get that pipe to go up inside here. And if that's the case, when we slip it down, we can get a little bit, bit deeper. So we're going to give that a shot. Um, and then we'll just start stacking pipe up and putting it down, feeding it down in there. So we know the well was 40 feet. Um, we know we lost probably at least a 10-foot pipe down in there. And when we were banging the old one up, we had to grab it and then really knock it up. Something broke loose. So I'm kind of wondering if maybe whatever was holding it at the bottom may have knocked off another five feet or so. So we might only get down 25 feet, somewhere around that, which is you know best we can get. Uh, but again, this is just so we can get water for the plants and things. The other well we're going to try and use for um, drinking water. Or showers. And showers and things like yeah. that. Uh, most likely we're going to be ordering in drinking water for a while. But as you can see on this, so the well packer just slips in there and you can just push it down in and seals it up. The water level right now looks like it's probably about six to seven feet down. And it's been as high as maybe four feet down, but it has not rained in a couple, two weeks, something like that. Yeah. Not had a substantial amount of rain, so of course it's a little bit lower. But, so we're going to get all that put together and hopefully it goes well.
Now, what happens if you hit that? Did you put a chain on it? What happens when you hit that cavity? You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Did you put a chain on it? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? As far as we're going down. <laughs> well, we're, we're past the cavity now. And it didn't fall? <laughs> Monkey scales. <laughs> I need to be able to bang it somehow. Yeah. Maybe we shouldn't have put that one on yet. Yeah. <laughs> 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 I would never laugh at you ever. Yes. Okay, what are we doing now? <laughs> well, we're only down about 12, 13 feet, and it will not go any farther. So we're just going to cut it off and then see how far we can get our uh, inch and a quarter pipe down for the pitcher pump. We can go stick it down way beyond this. We were trying to avoid it just because of the, um, the old pipe potentials of yeah. muck and all that good old pipe and stuff. But this is a good test for when we do the main well. Mm -hmm. I don't know if we're learning anything. <laughs> <laughs> feet we have 40 feet of pipe on there and I remember back to the video where actually this is about a 42 foot well so I can put this all the way down and it's still flopping around so what we're gonna do this is our uh, well cap so this will slide over like there and then I'm gonna put this in the top you tighten these bolts the rubber gasket squishes out and seals everything up and then we're gonna run to the store and get another pipe we're gonna go ahead and keep this down 40 feet and then realistically later, if we find that we're sucking up muck, we can loosen these bolts and then we'll just raise our pipe up out of the muck so we can adjust it as, as we need to. Look at my toolbox and get me a wrench for that piece. So we got to run to the store again, which we kind of thought we had to. That's why last night we ran to the store and got all the parts before they closed. Knowing that today doing this, we're going to have to go back and get it anyways. So it's technically saving us a trip today, although we took the trip yesterday. So there's water clear up to the top. So we should have no problem getting water out of here. It works. 
brings me millimeters. It works! So this is what we got right now. We had our cap on there. It's all tightened down so there's pressure squishing on that four inch pipe. There's also pressure squishing in on the um, one and a quarter inch pipe locking it in place. So this is not moving. And then there's my drain, my winter drain. So in the winter time I can pop this off. It'll drain the pipe from here up to the pitcher pump so it doesn't freeze and crack. And then of course on warm days if we need water we can always plug it back up. Um, I could probably find a way to do a valve where you can open and close that from above, but anyways, I'll do that later. Gotta get in here and kill all this poison ivy and then pour some of that uh, pea gravel in here or quarter inch chip and then um, that will seal this from moving around. Although it may seem like putting that packer in was a waste of time because we only got it down about 13 feet, that seals off the top. So anything that falls down that hole now will not go into the well. It'll hit that uh, packer and get stuck and won't go any farther. What was that? You're so mean to me. You're so mean to you? Mm. Get your ass in the hole and get to work. I... Oh. See me in the hole? Okay, I'm done. <laughs> it's only 90 some degrees oh with a gosh. heat index of like 100. Fine. So what we're doing here is we're just filling in around the casing and then um, Natalie's dad is working on making us a frame for the pump to sit on. And I had to run to the sorry, a temporary frame because I'm going to build a deck over this. And then, um, yeah, we'll put the last piece of pipe in and see if it works. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Right. How many attempts have we had to get water out of these things yet? Oh. Can you shake the, uh, wood? it already filled up? Yeah. No way. Should I shake it? Yeah, I'd shake it. I think it's just stuck. There's no way it filled up that fast. And there it goes. Actually, that's like, what, 13 feet down? There's also that void. Anyways, I'm just, you know, city worker, sitting back watching stuff get done. Oh, that means that I can go take a break soon. Yeah. We shouldn't. We don't have enough people. We need five more people. Yeah, good. Five we or need six. Five more sit around. Stand around and watch. One guy with the cooler. Yeah. Like that. So violent. I know. Sure, you got that level? What? It's a level. <laughs> That's your job. Well, I don't have anything else going in there. Do you need a stick? A stick. A stick. A stick. So here's Natalie walking away with the pipe that we need. Natalie, what are you doing? What? What are you doing? I'm putting it away. What is that? Pipe. What are we using it for? Where is the well? I'm taking it for a walk. <laughs> You're taking it for a walk? I'm taking it for a walk. It looks very happy. Well, you left it there. It was lonely. <laughs> Shut up. Coming back. Turn it off. I feel the love. <laughs>